In a bid to curb the spread of the deadly COVID-19 disease and cushion vulnerable populations within the country's informal settlements, President Kenyatta announced additional relief measures that saw him announce a national hygiene program that kicked off last Wednesday. The national government and stakeholders now joining hands to ensure that the program is a success. Transport Cabinet Secretary James Mashari receiving water bowsers from a local vehicle assembly company which will be used at Mukuru Kwanjenga slums as part of the national hygiene program. As you know, in the former settlements, we have a lot of issues with garbage collection, which also creates other hygiene and public health issues. And so this compactor, this compactor, during the coming one month, it will make a very big difference in terms of uh, those areas like Mukuru. Over 26,000 youth drawn from across eight counties are said to benefit from the intervention that seeks to clean informal settlements, give youth jobs and safeguard the environment. In total, we have something 226,180 of those youth uh, being actually deployed in, in eight counties and about uh, 27 informal settlements. 27 informal settlements. 27 informal settlements. So you can see the outreach. And this is just a first stage, because after you do this first stage, the, math, the issue will be escalated to make sure we cover more areas as we target uh, fighting this uh, COVID-19. Nairobi Metropolitan Service Director General Mohamed Abdallah Badi says apart from involving the youth in efforts to contain the pandemic, the initiative will also engage and ignite interest among young people on environment. A fourth group is to create awareness within the informal sector so that people are aware of the health issues and the last group of uh, women will be suing uh, this mass and will give them free distribution to all informal sector. So the national hygiene program is being rolled out simultaneously in Nairobi, Mombasa, Kiambu, Nakuru, Kisumu, Kwale, Kilifi and Mandera counties which have been identified as coronavirus hotspots.